Potatoes, tortilla, and corn. What do these three have in common? Well, they're all the most common ingredient used to make some of the world's best snacks, the chip. From Doritos to Lay's, we're looking back at some of the most iconic discontinued chips that we wish we could still buy. Starting with Doritos Jacked Buffalo Blue Cheese, these Doritos were not like any other Doritos. While Doritos have discontinued a bunch of flavors and that could have a whole video, these ones are special. Released in 2012, the term jacked comes from the fact that these Doritos were 40% larger than your average Dorito. On top of just having more surface area, the chip itself was also slightly thicker, giving an unmatched type of crunch across store shelves. Sadly, however, the chip would be discontinued in 2019, right before the pandemic, leaving hordes of people locked inside all day without their favorite snack. The reasoning was the typical corporate, consumer interests were changing, and the chip sales were declining. However, there have been fan reports that this flavor was a big seller, even managing to outpace nacho cheese at one point, which is actually insane. And that's the reason some people even believe they were discontinued, claiming that it was taking up too much of other chip sales, so they decided to discontinue this one to let all the other ones thrive. Which seems a bit far-fetched to me. In my best guess, I bet that these chips were probably just made with an entirely different machine, and after 7 years, uh, Doritos were probably just sick of maintenancing it and taking care of it. Where every other Dorito comes from probably the same chip line, I imagine, which just makes life easier. But all of this in turn has led to a petition, of course, of over 83,000 fans who want this flavor back. And it isn't a dead petition. As of writing this, the, la the last person who signed up was only 20 hours ago. Crazy. Now let's head over to the other big chip giant, Lay's. For this one, we're going back to 2015 when Lay's was doing a flavor contest called Do Us a Flavor. The concept was simple. You went online, you titled your own chip flavor, described what the flavor was, and that's it. From that, Lay's chose four ideas to actually be sold in stores, where one was chosen to be sold as an actual flavor, and the person who chose that flavor would be granted a million dollars. Yeah, pretty sick, huh? I actually remember submitting a flavor for this called Spicy D, where all I remember describing it was a hot chip that's actually hot. Yep, not my best idea. But the winner of this faithful competition was Indiana native Haley Green, who submitted her family's recipe of southern biscuits and gravy. And boy was this flavor a hit. There was nothing really like it on the market, something so savory without being overly salty or oily, and managed to taste exactly like its intended flavor. And what's even worse is, is fans only got to experience this unique special flavor while supplies lasted, which was only for about a year. Safe to say, its impact was felt by chip lovers across America, managing to garner some popular Reddit posts and fans begging Lay's to bring it back. Pringles Ketchup While this flavor might be a permanent in Canada and Europe already, in 2017, America got our first and only limited time run of this iconic flavor from the north. What's so interesting about all this, though, is that there wasn't an official release or advertising for it. In fact, fans just kind of started randomly finding it at stores. It was never added to the official U.S. Pringles website either, just giving the chips a larger mystery around them. However, the people who did try and review them were quite impressed, calling the chip not quite ketchup flavored, but more like a tomato soup mixed with vinegar vibe. While there isn't a lot of info on these chips, I did find another random release of Pringles doing a ketchup flavor in 2004 called Ketchup Blast. Again, there wasn't almost any evidence really of these online. Why do Pringles like keeping the ketchup flavor a mystery? Who knows? And I guess now that I'm recording this, I do live in Vermont, so maybe it's just because of my proximity to Canada that maybe I just sometimes see these in stores? I don't know. Who knows? Cheetos? Cracker Tracks were a line of chip cracker snacks that were intended to be sold with zero trans fat per serving. Released in 2008, the cracker chips were one of the first times a chip company would break into the cracker market. They were also released at a time when trans fat and fat in general was still a somewhat big problem in the US. These Cheetos were meant to combat that by being a fully baked, zero fat snack that still had the classic cheese flavoring on it. Another notable thing about this release was the style of packaging it came in. In fact, Frito-Lay seemed pretty confident in this packaging, even patenting it. The idea was that on the shelf, it looks like a normal bag of chips or any kind of crackers. However, the top part was meant to be ripped totally off, 
And instead of just being pinched open like a normal bag, then they had a strip seal on the back. You could peel off yourself and then manage to close on your own. Literally like a pack of Eggo waffles. Safe to say the safe packaging was really dumb and was probably one of the biggest reasons this snack did not get a chance to thrive. However, the snack holds a strong place of nostalgia for me and many other kids around the 2000s. As maybe not having health freak parents, but somewhat health conscious for American parents, a cheap low calorie snack with no trans fat was a pretty enticing grab for your kid's lunchbox. However, even though I couldn't find an officially discontinued date for the snack, it appears they were totally pulled off shelves by the early 2010s, leaving cracker lovers who wanted some Cheetos flavorings in the dust forever. See what I did there? Well, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much, as always. We have one more classic look bag dropping the 18th, and I have some special things planned for December and the start of next year. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment some of your favorite snacks that you miss from back in the day. And, uh, yeah, what else? Oh, if you want any more nostalgia porn and a look back on anything from the 2000s and 90s, Gen Z millennial nostalgia, then make sure to check out the look back playlist. And, uh, yeah. I'm really excited for the future, and I hope you guys are too. Peace.